Have you ever wondered about the concept of dimensions and how they shape our world? This question has perplexed humans for millennia, and it's the journey we're embarking on today. Our story begins with the ancient Greeks, specifically a mathematician named Euclid. He is often referred to as the father of geometry, and his work laid the foundation for our understanding of the first three dimensions. Euclid's principles of geometry helped us understand the world around us in terms of length, width, and height, forming the basis of the three-dimensional space we inhabit. Let's break it down a bit. Imagine a dot. It's the simplest form of existence, with no length, width, or height. That's our zeroth dimension. Now, stretch that dot into a line. You've just created the first dimension, length. Add another line perpendicular to the first, and you've got the second dimension, width. It's like a sheet of paper or a computer screen. Now imagine stacking multiple sheets of paper. What you've added is depth, creating a three-dimensional object. To understand this in a more practical sense, think about your daily life. When you walk down the street, you move forward. That's one dimension. You can also move left or right, adding a second dimension. Lastly, you can jump, adding the third dimension. Together, these three dimensions shape our physical reality. But what about objects in higher dimensions? Why can't we see them? It's not because they don't exist. It's because our senses and physical bodies are only equipped to perceive and interact with a three-dimensional environment. It's like trying to explain colors to someone who's been colorblind since birth. They simply lack the tools to perceive it. Now that we have a grasp on the first three dimensions, let's delve into the more abstract and intriguing higher dimensions. As we move forward, we'll explore concepts that challenge our traditional understanding of reality. So, buckle up. It's going to be a thrilling ride. Can you imagine a dimension beyond the three we live in? Welcome to the fourth dimension. Now the fourth dimension is a bit of a brain twister. It's like trying to explain the concept of left or right to someone who only knows forward and backward. But let's try to make it a bit simpler. If we picture a three-dimensional cube, the fourth dimension is like a cube that extends in another direction we can't see. It's not up, down, left, right, forward, or backward, it's elsewhere. The concept of the fourth dimension isn't new. It was first proposed in the mid-19th century by mathematician Bernhard Riemann. He suggested that space is not three-dimensional as we perceive it, but rather it has an additional unseen fourth dimension. This idea has since become a critical component of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes how massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, that unseen fourth dimension. To give it a bit of context, let's use an analogy. Consider a two-dimensional being living on a sheet of paper. To this being, anything that happens above or below the paper is incomprehensible, right? Now, imagine if we three-dimensional beings interact with that two-dimensional world. To the Flatlanders, we'd seem to appear and disappear out of nowhere, much like how we'd perceive objects in the fourth dimension. But why can't we see objects in the fourth dimension? Well, it's because our brains are wired to perceive only three dimensions. We can't physically see the fourth dimension, but we can certainly understand it mathematically. The fourth dimension, although challenging to visualize, is a fascinating step into the world of theoretical physics. We might not be able to see it, but its implications are far-reaching, influencing everything from quantum mechanics to the fabric of the universe itself. It's like a hidden layer of reality waiting to be explored. So buckle up and join us as we dive deeper into this mind-bending journey of dimensions where we'll uncover more about the mysterious and theoretical fifth dimension next. Stay tuned. Let's push the boundaries of our understanding even further and venture into the fifth dimension. Now the fifth dimension is one of the most fascinating aspects of theoretical physics. It's a concept that challenges everything we know about the universe. But before we dive into it, Let's take a moment to revisit the dark matter and fermion particles we mentioned earlier. We know that dark matter is a mysterious substance that we can't see or touch, yet it makes up about 85% of the universe. Fermion particles, on the other hand, are the building blocks of matter. So how do these connect to the fifth dimension? Well, let's turn to Einstein's famous equation, E shade mc squared. This formula tells us that energy, E, is equivalent to mass, m, times the speed of light, c squared. It's the cornerstone of physics, 
linking gravitational, electromagnetic, strong, and weak nuclear forces. In the context of the fifth dimension, it implies that these forces are not just interconnected, but they could be manifestations of a single, unified force in a higher dimension. The fifth dimension, therefore, could be a realm where all these forces merge, a place where the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. It could offer answers to many unresolved questions in physics, like the true nature of dark matter or the unification of quantum mechanics and general relativity. It's important to note that the fifth dimension is not something we can perceive with our senses. Just like we can't see or touch dark matter, we can't experience the fifth dimension in the traditional sense. But that doesn't mean it's not real. It's a concept that exists in the realm of theoretical physics, a tool that scientists use to understand the universe better. The fifth dimension might sound like science fiction, but it's a serious area of study in theoretical physics. As we peel back the layers of the universe, who knows what we might discover? Maybe even a whole new dimension of reality waiting to be explored. How does the fifth dimension relate to the Kaluza klein theory and even Hindu mythology? Let's delve into this intriguing topic. The Kaluza klein theory, named after theorists Theodore Kaluza and Oscar Klein, is a fascinating concept that unifies the fundamental forces of nature. It posits that electromagnetism and gravity are part of the same phenomenon, but perceived differently due to the existence of extra dimensions. This theory suggests that gravitons, hypothetical particles that mediate the force of gravity, are formed through the interaction of fermion particles. Fermions are subatomic particles such as electrons and quarks that follow the rules of quantum mechanics. In the context of higher dimensions, the collision of fermions could lead to the formation of a fifth dimensional particle. This concept, while still theoretical, could hold clues to our understanding of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of our universe. So how does Hindu mythology fit into this? The ancient texts of Hinduism, such as the Vedas and Upanishads, often speak of multiple dimensions or realms of existence. They refer to these as lokas and describe them as different planes of consciousness or reality. In particular, the concept of a fifth dimension resonates with the idea of Turiya, a Sanskrit term often translated as the fourth state. This state transcends the typical three states of consciousness, waking, dreaming, and deep sleep, and is described as an experience of ultimate reality or pure consciousness. It's a state that transcends time and space, much like the theoretical fifth dimension in physics. While we must exercise caution when drawing parallels between ancient spiritual texts and modern scientific theories, it's fascinating to see how these seemingly disparate fields can intersect and echo similar concepts. The exploration of higher dimensions bridges the gap between science and spirituality. As we continue to probe the secrets of the universe, we may find that the answers lie not just in the realm of the physical, but also in the metaphysical. Could we potentially create a portal to the fifth dimension? It's a tantalizing question, isn't it? The possibility isn't as outlandish as it sounds. In theory, a particle accelerator could be the key. Particle accelerators are machines that propel charged particles at high speeds, often to collide with one another. The aftermath of these collisions can reveal new aspects of the universe, possibly even opening gateways to higher dimensions. Now imagine the thrill of such a discovery. The fifth dimension, a realm beyond our current comprehension, suddenly within our reach. But with this comes a mysterious hint of something more. Dark matter. This elusive substance is believed to make up about a quarter of our universe, yet remains largely undetected and unexplained. What if a fifth dimensional portal could lead us to finally obtaining dark matter? It's a riveting prospect, isn't it? To learn more about the intriguing possibilities of dark matter, stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Today we've embarked on a fascinating journey through the dimensions. We traced the origins of dimensions from Euclid's groundbreaking work to the geodesics theory and how they shape our understanding of space. We pondered over the elusive fourth and fifth dimensions, their discoveries and their representations in geometrical figures. We've seen how these higher dimensions are hidden from our everyday perception and how they tie into theories of dark matter and fermion particles. 
We've also delved into the intriguing Kaluza Klein theory, graviton formation, and the intriguing connections to Hindu mythology. And finally, we've touched upon the tantalizing possibility of a fifth dimensional portal created using a particle accelerator. But this is just the beginning. In our upcoming videos, we'll delve deeper into the mysteries of dark matter and dark forces. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue exploring the mysteries of the universe with us.